Are you having trouble finding a good crosshair? Are you too lazy to make one and just want to copy a professional player? Well, have no fear because your master is here. And as that, I'll be going over all the important crosshair settings added in the latest patch, as well as showing you guys exactly what crosshairs pros use so you can abuse them yourself. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Let's start with the general tab. First, enable advanced options to get the juicy crosshair settings that will give you aimbot. Then, enable show player crosshairs to see your teammates rocking the big boy crosshairs. Yo, what give me that crosshair! <laughs> Fade crosshair with firing air means that when your recoil starts moving left and right during a spray, your top reticle will begin to fade. Let me show you guys how this can be extremely useful. This is a general recoil pattern for a Phantom. As you can see, the first eight bullets of the spray move vertically with little horizontal shift. After eight bullets, the recoil starts moving left and right in mostly random patterns, and it's pretty hard to control. When you enable fade crosshair with firing air, the top reticle fades as soon as the recoil becomes random. This means that if you stop spraying once the top crosshair fades, your spray will be much more accurate and consistent. To practice this, you should go against the wall in the range and try to spray an eight bullet burst, stopping as soon as the crosshair begins to fade. Your goal is to move your mouse down vertically to counter the act of the upward movement to the recoil. Once the crosshair fades, it's basically a reminder that you should stop spraying. So if you whiff the first eight to 10 bullets and the top reticle fades, then just straight to the side and reset your recoil instead of continuing the spray. Moving on to the primary crosshair itself. Although it seems like personal preference, you forgot I am radiant, so you have to listen to me. Okay, but seriously, I have seen and tried hundreds of different crosshairs throughout my grind, and I have seen which work and which don't. So these are just my recommendations that I can honestly say improve my overall accuracy. Let's start with the crosshair color. Naturally, I was curious to hear what you guys used, so I did a poll on YouTube. Surprisingly, almost half of you use cyan, while 21% use green and 19% use white. This number is very similar amongst pros, with white, cyan, and green crosshairs being the most popular. So why is cyan more popular than the other options? There is actually several reasons for this. The most important thing when choosing the color is the contrast. You want your crosshair to contrast with the background as well as the enemy. Looking at the color wheel, you can see that yellow and blue are on different sides. Cyan being a close color to blue will contrast well with a yellow enemy. Likewise, if you're using red enemy outlines, a green colored crosshair will contrast very well. And if you're using purple enemy outlines, a yellow crosshair will give you the most clarity. Since most people prefer yellow enemy outlines, a cyan crosshair gets the job done. Another reason is that there isn't a lot of cyan or bluish colors on the map. Going through the maps, you will notice how they're mostly white, brown, and tan colors. The last and probably the biggest reason why most players use cyan is because of the tens effect. Tens is one of the best players in the world, and since his crosshair is cyan, that means I have to use a cyan crosshair, right? This is actually the mindset of most people, and although you aren't completely wrong, I highly suggest that you first try all of the colors and see what suits you and your eyes best. Because did you even know there was a pink color? If you're using light crosshairs like yellow, cyan, or white, I recommend turning on outlines to make the crosshair easier to see against bright backgrounds. The actual crosshair size and configuration is really a personal preference. However, later in the video, I'll be going over the fabulous Sarah crosshair as well as other pro crosshairs that you can try in your games to get a feel for what best fits you. For the ADS crosshair, I highly recommend using either a dot or a smaller version of your current crosshair. Generally, you're only going to ADS if you're fighting someone far away. And in that case, a smaller crosshair would allow you to be more precise. Moving on to the sniper scope crosshair. To stay consistent, I recommend changing the center dot color from red to the color of your primary crosshair. It is also recommended to increase the opacity to one, as that will make it easier to tell if you're accurate. Now, the most debatable aspect, the size of the dot. Many players like the dot small so they can feel more accurate, while others like the dot big so they can tell if they're accurate easier. Technically, both are fine, but I recommend that if you don't use snipers a lot, or if you're very aggressive, that you set the size to 1.25. It's a fact that people react to bigger objects faster than smaller ones. Using a bigger dot will allow you to tell if you're accurate faster. So it's perfect for beginners who want to learn how the timing of the op works. It is also good for players who are aggressive and play close angles with the op. If you're constantly moving, the dot indicator of if you're accurate can help you time your shots a lot better. It is also in more proportionality with the enemy heads. On the other hand, if you're skilled in using the operator, the timing of when it becomes accurate is already engraved into your muscle memory. In this case, the dot can even be a distraction. Likewise, if you play very slow and never move around while scoped, the dot indicator is not that important and you might benefit from a smaller dot. I personally prefer 1.25 because I get really up close and personal with the op. However, this may not be the best for you. So go into the range and try all the sizes from 0.5 to 2.0 and see what best fits your playstyle. A neat trick is going to your most common op range and setting the dot size to half the size of the bot head. 
This is the part of the video that most of you guys have been waiting for, the 10 juiciest crosshairs to abuse in your games. So now that Valorant allows us to save up to 10 crosshair profiles, let's get you guys the best pro player crosshairs to play around with. Starting with the fabulous Sarah crosshair. Since so many of you are asking, here it is. White dot size 2 with one outline opacity. Once you lock this attractive, exquisite, irresistible crosshair, you will notice how your skills will go through the roof. Okay, but seriously, definitely try out this crosshair as your boy Sarah's whole cute to radiant using it. The next crosshair you should try is Tenza's infamous crosshair. I'm talking about the Siren crosshair with one, four, two, two inner lines with outlines disabled. You honestly can't go wrong with this crosshair as it is probably the most popular crosshair amongst casuals and pros. Asuna from 100 Thieves has exceptional aim and we all know the secret is this crosshair. Asuna uses a white crosshair with inner lines, one, two, one, three, and has outlines disabled. This is a classic CSGO crosshair with thinner lines. Definitely go add this one to one of your crosshair profiles as it will give you that crisp Asuna aim. CNED, a pro player from the European scene, is known for his outstanding aims and plays. CNED uses a white crosshair with one, five, two, zero inner lines with outlines disabled. This is a unique crosshair as it is a cross without a center gap. For some reason, this crosshair looks beautiful and when I use it, my spray control feels much smoother. So I highly suggest that you get a feel for it yourself. Victor, a pro player for Envy, recently qualified for Masters no, Blend, and we all know that, of course, it's because of his crosshair. Victor uses a green crosshair with inner lines one, four, two, three, and outlines off. His crosshair is similar to Tenza's, but the main difference is that the crosshair color is green instead of cyan, and the gap or the offset is bigger on Victor's crosshair. This makes you focus less on the crosshair and instead on the enemies inside. Ethos and a proto both love a good white box crosshair. You can get this crosshair yourself by turning off outlines and making the inner lines one, one, six, three, and using the color white. This crosshair will make you insane with the sheriff as seen with the proto's clips. Our circle crosshair is another good crosshair to try out. With outlines on, the inner lines are one, one, five, one, and the outer lines are one, two, one, one. This crosshair certainly gives a very unique feel and by some is considered a better dot crosshair. So if you think a dot is too small, definitely try out the circle crosshair. If you want to use a tic-tac-toe crosshair, then turn off outlines and input the following for the inner lines. One, one, ten, two. If you want to see a go type crosshair or if you like firing air, then this crosshair is for you. Enable center dot thickness one and then use one, two, one, zero for inner lines and most importantly, enable firing air with multiplier one. And you already know I saved the absolute best crosshair for last. Out of all the crosshairs, this is the only one that will guarantee you radiant. It is called the Sigma male crosshair. Okay, but in reality, definitely try out all the other crosshairs and settings I mentioned. Unfortunately, having a good crosshair won't substitute all the aim training, but having 10 crosshair profiles is really neat and can help you stay organized. Being able to change between 10 of your favorite crosshairs within seconds is a great feature. So thank you, Riot. If anything I said was helpful, or if you got any good crosshair ideas from this video, then consider subscribing. If you want to know all the tricks for ranking up, then watch the guide here. Good luck in your games. Peace.